Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about the average. It's sometimes in order with the, say in this case an x with a bar over it or x average or whatever. It's, uh, with what we're interested in and having to do with exam scores, <laughs> it's the sum of all the exam scores in the class by the total number of students that took that exam. So uh, every class really has a mean. Um, if you think about even high school, your mean in high school was a 75. So in high school, if you got a 75, you got a middle C. Same in these classes. My class happens if you get a mean, you're in like the high C range. So um, every class is going to have a mean. The difference between high school is in high school, your, your mean and your grade cutoffs are fixed. They're never changing, regardless of how students did in the class. However, in like science, engineering classes, often the mean is going to vary. Uh, depending on the class, the exam, etc. Because that varies, then your grade cutoffs will vary. So you can have two kind of classes where the mean and etc. varies or where it doesn't vary. Uh, but in classes like mine and other science classes, often they're going to vary. Now, let's take an example score. Let's say you get a 77 points on a particular exam. What does that mean? Well. <laughs> Did you get a C? Well, not necessarily. First of all, you got to consider, well, what's the total points? Let's say the total points on this exam is 113. So you'd want to calculate your percentage on the exam, because that's really what matters. And in this case, it's going to be approximately 68%. Okay? So you get your percentage on the exam. Now, what grade do you think that is? You said a D. You're crazy because you're thinking high school. In high school, yeah, that'd be a D because that is a fixed curve. However, uh, at this point, uh, in my class and classes like it, you don't know what your score means until you know what the mean and the standard deviation are. You don't know what it is. This could be an A, this could be a D, an F, a C, you have no idea. So, uh, you're not sure what this grade means until you figure out what the mean is. And, and that's something your instructor would give you. Now, in sum, uh, does it matter if the mean is really high or really low? Well, in fact, uh, you might think it does matter, like, oh, I want a really high mean or a really low mean. Sometimes high means give you good morale, or low means you think, well, if the mean's really low and I get this score, I'll do really well. The deal is, students don't realize that your grade also changes with the mean, because that means a low mean means the test was really difficult, the exam was really difficult, and so everybody's going to score lower. So usually, typically a student uh, will be very consistent with how they score. So with one exam, uh, they might score high, but maybe the mean's high. And second exam, they score low, but the mean's low. So it matters how are you doing with respect to the mean, and that typically doesn't change whether the test is easy or hard or whatever. Um, so what, when you're studying, what you want to improve is how, am I, how much better am I improving with respect to the mean? Not, oh, did I get high on this test, low on that test? That's irrelevant because the curve, or really the average, could change on a different test. So it doesn't matter what the average is. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and you don't know what your grade is based on your percentage until you know what the mean and standard deviation are which I'll talk about in another video. Um, typically, now a mean in my classes, when I was having science engineering classes, I had means anywhere from 15 up to 85%. It just could be across the board. In my classes, I tend to like means somewhere around the 55 to 70% range, um, with like a standard deviation of 12 or better. Because that mean, at that point, there's a couple advantages for us. One is, you have high enough mean, it just keeps your morale high. Again, you know, it's meaningless, whatever the average is, but it kind of keeps student morale higher, so I like to keep a slightly uh, mean in that range if I can. And the other reason is, it allows a mean in that range with a good standard deviation gives a great bell curve with good standard deviations, which is what I'll talk about in a little bit. But uh, that's kind of what I'm shooting for so that it allows a very nice breakdown of different grade scores. Uh, 
And if you're in most classes, try to do that and give good uh, bell curves whenever they can. Now, uh, to hear more about standard deviations and other things like that, I want to move on to uh, another one of these videos.